Let's find the least common multiple of these two numbers. To do so, I'm going to write the prime factorization of each number first. So what is 4 written as a product of primes? 4 is 2 times 2. Let's write 15 as a product of primes. 15 is 3 times 5. And now let's find our least common multiple. We look at all the different prime factors in these two factorizations and we write down the greatest number of times that each factorization occurs in any one prime factorization. For example, here we have the prime factor of 2. Here it's 2 times in this prime factorization. Here 2 occurs 0 times, so the most number of times it occurs is 2 times. That is part of my least common multiple, 2 times 2. What other prime factors do we have? Well, we have a prime factor of 3. It only occurs once in this one prime factorization, so we will include that factor of 3. Do we have any other prime factors? The answer is yes, we have a prime factor of 5. It only occurs once in this prime factorization, so I will include it once here, and it just so happens that my least common multiple is 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. It happens to be this product. That is 60. Now make sure you understand what least common multiple means. It means 60 is a multiple of 15 and also a multiple of 4, and it's the smallest number that is a multiple of both of these numbers.